Hey guys, so a couple of our supporters have asked what's happening with the camera and the computer and the 4K videos. So a couple of people noticed that we released a couple of 4K videos and the rest of them have been mostly uh, HD. So I want to make this video in two parts. The first part is for people who find anything IT related to, it to be either boring or stressful or annoying or not interesting or whatever which I'd include me in that group, right? So for the first part of the video, it's going to be for you guys. And it's going to be really succinct, telling you exactly um, the, the minimum of what you need to know, right? Uh, and the rest of the video is going to be for those other nut jobs who seem to find IT stuff interesting. <laughs> so, so uh, yes, we've managed to create a couple of simple uh, 4K videos. We've managed to do it by not narrating them and not adding music to them and keeping them fairly short and fairly simple. And we've managed to, to create a couple of 4K videos by doing that. Um, so from now on, we'll, we'll be having majority HD videos. So, um, and then occasionally uh, we'll have a 4K video for now. Okay, in the future we might be able to do more 4K videos, but at the moment that's where we are, okay? So, for you guys uh, who, who don't want to know any more, <laughs> thanks for watching. More videos coming soon! Okay. <laughs> so, for the rest of you nut jobs, no, I don't mean any offence, I don't mean any offence. Different people have different things that they're interested in, aren't they? I mean, if someone starts talking with me about uh, martial arts or about flying aeroplanes, I could talk for days, quite happily, on those topics and enjoy talking about it, you know. Uh, but just some of us, some of us are interested in martial arts, some are interested in flying aeroplanes, some are interested in IT, okay? So I have a cousin who's interested in IT. He's actually an IT manager for a big organisation and quite a high pressure job, high, high paying job. Um, but it's all about the IT at work and when he goes home, that's his hobby. He's got an office set up with computers and it's just he lives it and breathes it and loves it. So I get it, I do get it. But I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them by far. So what's been happening? Uh, so what started all this, of course, was uh, we needed to do something about our cameras, not our, our videos not being good enough, right? So we needed to try and upgrade to HD. And then some people said maybe even 4K. And then some really kind people banded together and helped us buy, helped us buy a 4K camera, um, which was the the Canon camera, and uh, which is an excellent camera, by the way. Um, and then we tried to render the the 4K videos and even the HD videos on the old computer and we had a lot of trouble. The, the 4K videos were impossible, the HD videos were difficult, but we've sort of managed to be able to do it. Um, and obviously that old computer was Windows 7, it was about 10 years old or something and, and it just obviously seems too much. It won't even play the 4K videos properly. So if we put the 4K videos from the camera into the computer, it doesn't even play them very well. It, it's not far wrong, you know. It's it's not, it's not, it's not that it's impossible. It's just it's not quite right. So it shudders, and it, you know, we showed you guys the result of, of what happened when we actually edited a video. It's a bit like that. It shudders. It freezes. It, it's just too much. Obviously, too much information for that computer. So uh, we talked to our IT guy in Nagoya, and he said he had that computer we talked about once before, the laptop one, but it's got all. Uh, you know, it was used for, for CAD and it's powerful and it's super and fantastic and so on. And really, we didn't have a lot of other options. He said we could have that for $600, right? And and to be honest, we didn't have a lot of other options because we just don't have any money at the moment. You know, despite the fact that COVID's supposed to be, you know, sort of pretty much treated like a normal thing now, like uh, influenza, it, it's, we still can't get enough work. We're still having trouble getting work as a result of that. And... March and April are just impossibly expensive times with bills and things, so just didn't have any money, but wanted to do it. So I bit the bullet and uh, bought that computer from our guy in Nagoya for $500, $600. And uh, it seems to be pretty good. It, you know, it seems to be pretty good. Um, <laughs> it crashed. We tried to make a video with it and it crashed and then and, and had to restart it and then lost the, the, the info that we'd put in. We'd lost the editing that we did. And then it crashed again, and then, but it does seem, it seems powerful enough. It's fast, obviously much faster than our older computer. I mean, this one's old too. It's, it's about, uh, 
how old is it? Five years old or something. But it is super fast, and and everything that I do on it is much faster than what it, what our older computer is. Um, but it, it did keep crashing, and then <laughs> finally managed to actually edit a, a 4K video with it. And uh, actually, I did one really simple one, the rain one, um, the the raining one, and it was really simple. It was short. The, the bits were short, the whole video itself was short, I added no narration and no music or anything else and I managed to produce that 4K video. Um, but when I've tried to edit properly, like make a longer video and put music on it, put, it just falls apart. And the result was exactly the same, or pretty much the same, as the result that I got on our old computer. Which is a bit scary because it was sort of the, the idea was right. Okay, we've spent the six hundred dollars now. Now we've got this better computer. Now we can start doing lots of four K videos, and it's sort of quite exciting. And spent ages, hours editing, editing this four K video, and you know finally, and then and then of course had to had to save it, like uh, uh, pr produce it, and that took a long time as well. And then finally got it made. You know, it was an all day thing. Finally got it made, and then played it, and it was crap. It was shuddering, and it was. Uh, just the same problems that we'd had with the, with the other computers. Oh, no. So in the meantime, the last five weeks, I've been exchanging uh, mails with, um, with uh, um, uh, ABS Editor. ABS Editor uh, customer, you know, what do they call it? Product supporter, whatever they call it. And just terrible, you know, just, it, it just... It's just amazing for someone like me that's not very good at computers. Computers are brilliant, you know, and they can do amazing things, but they still haven't worked out how to let them work it all out, have they? You know, it, it's still complicated to make all these things work. You know, I, I imagine in the future, it'll all do it itself. That if you want to connect a camera to a thing and you want to bet it, it it'll work out. It, it'll work out how to do it, and if there's any problems, it'll work out how to fix them, and it'll just fix them, and you won't even know that there was a problem. You know, but at the moment we've got all this amazing technology. I mean, I'm sitting in a rice field in Japan making a video that people around the world are watching. I mean, that's pretty amazing. But, but you know, it's still it's still a headache for some of us. I mean, I know some people love sitting. My cousin, you know, he'd, he'd love stuff like that. He'd sit and spend hours on it, trying to work out the problem and try this and try that, and he'd love it. But I hate it. It's really stressful. So exchange. Um, these messages with the customer support of ABS Editor, and it took days, three or four days, every time I'd send something to them, it took three or, days, three or four days from edit. And they give you these little tasks, you know, those little chores. Here, go off and do this, go off and do this, go and look up this, find out this, tell us this, change that setting, do this, do that, do this, do that, right? We've had five weeks of that, you know, still no results, still no results. You know, I've been doing everything. I mean, there's a good chance that whatever this problem is, is my lack of doing something but um, you'd think that you know I, I've been exchanging messages with doing everything they've told me to do for five weeks still no result um, then I also contacted Canon the computer the, the phone uh, the camera guys and actually I really remember to talk about the phone too the camera guys and and I sent them an email and explained to them what's going on you know I've tried to edit the video on two computers using, you know, oh, I tried another kind of software too. I uploaded, oh no, I used the Windows 10, Windows 10 movie editor, which can't render 4K. It won't produce a 4K result. It'll only produce a high definition result. But I thought, try to edit the 4K videos on the new computer using Windows 10 editor. Maybe that'll work, you know, it didn't. That was a bad result too. So I sent an email to Canon to their customer support or product support or they call it and they and said exactly what happened I've tried two computers two kinds of software can't edit this video or the result isn't any good you know and I, I've actually private uh, uploaded a video to YouTube kept it private so I wouldn't waste your time and showed it to everybody showed it to the the, the uh, AVS editor guys showed it to the, the camera guys and the, the Canon guy the Canon anonymous people sent back an email that said thank you for your email about Canon printers <laughs> right. cut and pasted the wrong answer <laughs> right so all right so I went back now it's not a printer problem you know and repeated what I'd said the first time and all the information I gave them the first time you know and uh, and then uh, 
Wait, oh no, what happened after that? Came back and asked me what sort of computers we're trying it on, so I answered back to that. Um, the the, the uh, ABS editor guy, he, you know, one day he said I had to, he wanted me to send him the original file from the, from the camera so they could test it. So I had to join some website for, for file sharing so I could send him this damn thing. I mean, all those things were simple to a lot of you guys. Take me forever. You know, register on some website so I can file share this this file to him and send him this file and send send this file and then no answer for four days. I sent him another message and then he he, he said, oh, oh yeah, we we, we tried that. We couldn't uh, reproduce your problem, right? We so so they tried it and didn't have a problem. He reckoned, which I doubt. I doubt he's taken my original video. He's edited it. He's added music to it. He's added narration to it. He's added text to it. I doubt it. I really doubt it. You know, we couldn't recreate your problem. Yeah, well, I doubt you did what I did. You know, I, d I doubt it. But anyway, um, so that's, that's the AVS editor people, the Canon people, and then my computer guy, because it kept crashing, the computer kept crashing, and he came back and said, oh, it probably needs some driver updates, and it probably needs, it might be an antivirus problem or something, because the other problem is when these things crash, everything assumes that I'm Japanese, right? Anytime there's any connection at all with the internet, or any software that I get, or any website I try and get onto, or anything else I try and do, automatically it assumes I'm Japanese, right? So everything comes up in Japanese. So as if I'm not confused enough already, <laughs> up it comes in Japanese. Uh. So in the meantime, what I've found I can do, is I can upload a video um, to YouTube directly. I can take the, the, the um, video directly from the camera into the computer, and upload it directly to YouTube without any editing, without putting the, the you know end screen on it or anything like that, just directly, exactly as it was taken on the camera, and upload that straight to YouTube. That works, so I've done that on one video, I can't remember what it was now, but one video I did that. Um, the other one I managed to do is the rain one, where I managed to just do the rain, just, just little bits, little bits, little bits, join it together into a short video, and actually saved that with the AVS editor and it worked. That's so, it seems like it's close. Whatever the problem is, it's not a big problem, obviously. But none of these people, you know, it's five weeks I've been trying to solve this, and none of these people have a solution. It's just they send me off on these little chores, you know, go and do that and go and do that. None of it works. And then I search stuff on the internet. That's so frustrating. The other one I'm having, of course, is our buddy in America sent me the, the iPhones, which was so generous of him. <laughs> oh, just so stressful trying to get the iPhone videos onto the PC, you know, and you look it up, how to get I, uh, videos from you know, iPhone 11 onto PC, you know, Windows 7 or Windows 10, we got both now, and, um, and you know, oh, simply tap, tap this and tap, tap that and tap this and tap, -tap, -tap this and tap, tap that, there you go, that's it, that's all you got to do, and it never works, right? <laughs> And then that doesn't work and search something else and try something else and try something else and try something else and that's just a never-ending screaming nightmare that one just that that bloody iphone and then okay try itunes so you gotta upload our itunes and then try to back it up through itunes and then get it from itunes and no it can't do that either <laughs> just ah uh, and i know it's not just me there must be a lot of other useless people like me too because when i search these things you know why can't i do this and it comes up with a million results of the same people, of, of people having exactly the same problem. Can't get their video off their iPhone 11 onto their Windows 7 or their Windows 10. You know, it's not just me. You know, it's, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's, ah. Oh. So I found the solution is, I've found to, uh, I have to pick my timing. I, you know, I have to do it when I'm, I'm not, I've got un, uh, uh, enough time you know, that if I've only got limited time before I've got to go somewhere or do something, I can't do it. Um, I, I wait till I'm feeling relaxed, you know, <laughs> and patient, and go, right, I'm going to have another crack at that, you know, and then sit down and spend a couple of hours trying to, trying to make a video. That's all I'm trying to do. I mean, the good news is, the good news is that I've still got my Windows 7 on my old computer set up, and I can still, still make videos on that thing. Um, uh, and and I can make HD videos on the newer computer, so that's you know that's the that's the thing. I can still make a video every day like this one. Um, that'll be HD, and that seems to keep most people happy, you know. But it's just frustrating because because you know got the 4K camera, you know got the software that's allegedly good enough to do 4K editing, 
spent $600 on a computer, I mean, she'll be able to do it, you know? The only good win, real win I've had, was, um, because see, I don't know anything about this stuff, right? And I lay there one night and I thought, oh, the other problem with that bloody laptop, the new one, the newer computer, is, I don't know what's happened, the old owner smashed it with the keyboard with his fingers or something, because you've got to really hit the key to, to get it to register that you've hit a key, you know? So putting it, writing with it is just useless. And it's a Japanese keyboard, which is a pain. Japanese keyboard's only a little bit different than an English one, but it's just enough to be really annoying. You keep making mistakes and, and you gotta really pound this bitch, you know? So, so, so I, I, um, I wanted to plug my English keyboard into it, right? And I also wanted to plug the microphone into it and so I didn't have to keep unplugging it and plugging it. And so I kept thinking, I thought, I want the keyboard, the mouse, and the microphone. I want to be able to just switch between the computers, right? And I thought, there's got to be a device. There has to be a device that you can just push a button and, and use the, the, the keyboard, the mouse, and the microphone on two computers, you know? And uh, so I had to search it because I didn't know such a thing existed, and sure enough, it did, didn't it? And uh, they were pretty expensive in the electrical stores, but I bought one online for $25. And you can put the, the, all the devices into it, and then it feeds off to the two computers, and I can just push a button. So when I'm using the laptop, I can push the button and use the, my keyboard and my mouse and my microphone to make videos, and then uh, I can push the button and it switches back to the other computer. So that was a win. I felt really clever when I did that. I mean, you just gotta plug it in. You don't have to think about it. But it, uh, that was a good solution, because that's made it much easier. Instead of pounding the keyboard on that other, thing I can just uh, use my normal keyboard so that was a win <laughs> so, oh and I mean I really appreciate you guys giving advice and you know that's why I bought the new computer was because some people suggested it. that's why I bought the new camera because some people suggested it so I do listen but sometimes it is a bit overwhelming because when I make a video like this there's always like you know 50 different suggestions that are usually different. Sometimes people agree with each other with what I should do, but usually it's it's different. And those same things that are simple to you guys and to my cousin, uh, not simple to me. You know, even today I, the thing kept crashing, and the guy said, "Oh, can you check? You might need to update your drivers." See, for someone like me, <laughs> where do I start with that? So the, what I did was I've got um, Windows. Uh, what's it called? Windows Care. And I, because I had that on my old computer, and it's brilliant for people like me, because you click a button, and it finds all your problems, and it, it has auto fix. Um, not for the drivers. It popped up and said you need to update these drivers, and then yeah, okay, <laughs> boom, boom, and it did it. So, but stuff like that's a nightmare for me. So all those suggestions that we get in the comments, like, oh, how do you do that? How do you do that? And I've got to go off and search how you do that. Just a nightmare. <laughs> so I don't know. So now I've got, I've got the computer guy is aware of the problem, and I've got the ca camera guy is aware of the problem. People are aware of the problem, and I've got the the uh, ABS editor people. So one, you know, one of those things, right? It's got to be one of those things. It's got to be the computer or the the camera or the the editing software. One of those things is the problem, you know. And it's a good chance I'm involved in the problem. I might have not set something properly or done something, but no one's told me. Everything that they've told me to do, I've done it. Check this, check that, check this, check that, change this, change that, did all that. Did all that. <laughs> I suspect the older computer is not going to be possible to do it because it can't even play 4K video. So even even on YouTube, watching a 4K video on YouTube is almost impossible on the old, old, old computer. And when I upload the video from the camera onto the old computer, it, I can't play it. The Windows player on the Windows 7 won't play it, it's too much. But it will play on the on the newer computer quite well, which suggests to me that that new computer's got the power. The newer computer's got the power to actually handle a 4K video, you know, to edit one. So what what's the problem? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a, it gives me headaches. It really really does. Spend a few hours with this and then go off to work, you know, with a headache already from this stuff, you know, <laughs> it's a screaming nightmare. Who made the comment? One of you guys made a comment recently, I, was, I made one of these videos and he said, the locals are gonna call him the Gaijin who screams at the sky, <laughs> right? Because they see me sitting out here in the rice field talking to myself and waving my arms around. Why, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh. So, I mean, the, the, the technology is amazing, you know, but it's not there yet, is it? I 
somewhere. We've got all these amazing things that we can do. But we shouldn't need fools like me trying to work this shit out. We shouldn't need it. You shouldn't need these support people that send you, that give you these little chores to do that don't do anything. You know, that, that the worst ones the AVS editor people, they, they you know, one, one chore after another that's had zero results, you know? It's like, come on, really? You know, I mean, it's not, the technology's not there yet, is it? I reckon 20 years from now, if someone saw this video, they'd laugh their asses off because 20 years from now, it should work it out itself. You know, that computer's got more brain power than me, you know, I, I shouldn't have to think about it. I should be able to say, I want to make a video. And it should say, which camera? And I'll say, the, the, the Canon. And okay, it's ready, right? <laughs> Boom, done. I want to connect my iPhone to the computer. Done. It should be just done, shouldn't it? It shouldn't need me to configure anything, you know? Right? Right? You know, it should, it's got the power to do it, right? They should be able to work out how to make it all do that. So anyway, that's just me. And I know you guys who love it, you know, laugh at me. As someone said in the last video, someone had a good laugh. Oh, you're so funny. Ha, ha, ha. It's funny to watch you get stressed about it. You know, I know. My cousin's the same. He just finds it a big joke. You know, when we have the old days when I lived in Australia and we'd have family barbecues, you know, and people would be going, oh, my computer, you know, and he'd just laugh because he finds it all amusing. It doesn't stress him. Obviously, that's his profession and his hobby. So it doesn't stress him. He loves it. He loves it. It's all a mystery for him, right? Yeah, right now, what's the problem? And, you know, working it out. And he probably exchanges the messages with these support people all the time and loves it, probably. He's like that. <laughs> Not me. I have to come up with strategies to deal with this without losing my mind. So that's, that, that's my strategy. Okay, well, look, I'm okay. I can make HD videos. The 4K thing isn't urgent. And I'll just keep working on it until I work it out. I mean, we'll get it worked out, obviously. There'll be a solution. Whatever the solution is, we'll get it worked out. But in the meantime, I've just got to, got to be patient with it and just try and deal with it when I've got the patience and the time. Because to be honest, I'm under a bit of stress at the moment. Oh, just what, before I go, so I can't make a video without mentioning this. If you're not on Patreon, supporting us on Patreon or PayPal or Coffee already, please consider it because... Um, <sighs> That's, that's the underlying stress, I think. That's the underlying stress. I sit there in front of the corkboard with all the bills on the corkboard thinking I should go and get a part-time job. I actually had another opportunity to get an a, a ALT job recently working as assistant language teacher in Nagoya. And I came that close to taking it. I just, I'm just too old and too set in my ways, you know, but I need the money. I came that close. I came that close. <laughs> Because my normal work just isn't isn't busy enough. I'm trying my best to get as much work as I can and work as hard as I can, but it's just the, the COVID thing still holds them back, you know? Just today, just today, yesterday our daughter had a 38 degree temperature, so she, she couldn't do any of her group event things. And, and today my wife couldn't go and do her group event things because the daughter had a 38 degree temperature and I'm not supposed to go to work, which is why I'm unshaven. So they're still working by the old thing, that bef you know, when the COVID panic was on. So, so if, if you're not already on Patreon or Coffee or or PayPal, the links are always under our videos. And uh, if you are already and you can step it up a little bit, if your life's a bit more normal than mine at the moment, you can step it up a bit. It helps us support what we do, you know, the, with the camera and the computer and the time and everything. Because the time that's been going into this has always been a lot every day, but uh, recently, it's been a lot more every day trying to sort out this nightmare. Uh, uh, not complaining. It's all good. It's all good. But it's just uh, these are the realities of what's been happening. Isn't this beautiful? Can you hear those birds? Beautiful, aren't they? We get ones like that in the garden too at the old farmhouse. Little like this, you know, tiny little things. Ah, <sighs> feels better. <laughs> what did that guy say? The gaijin who screams at the sky. Ah! <laughs> anyway, that was that. For you two IT nerds who are still watching, having a good laugh. More videos coming soon.